Welcome everybody, James Resonated Lee here from ClimateViewer.com with a brand new version and a quick tutorial. Don't want to take up too much of your time, let's get right to it. In the top corner you will find the new theme switcher. Click down the list, choose a color you enjoy. It'll give you a cookie, you should remember it. Next to that, since this is a research tool, you might want some music. Pop up a music player of your choice. Good streaming music always helps. Followed by a chat window. And uh, we'll have a forum in the near future. And then uh, the instructional video you're watching now will be here. Hotkey instructions. I'm going to go over those real quickly. They can be found here. Click hotkeys. And about the project. A little bit about me, what the project is, how to submit your data, what's in it, and the donate button. I'm broke. I have a high school diploma. I learned Java last month, and I'm doing this as a service for free you can donate my family will greatly appreciate it all right and these buttons over here will toggle the logo the sidebar the toolbar the bottom and all at the same time moving over here we have turn on the sign I'll we'll actually put the sun in there and show you where the day night line is currently. This is up to date. Then we have uh, the atmosphere, 3D buildings, borders, roads, terrain, scale, info, overlay map, grids, controls, and historical imagery. Bring it all up. All right. Let's check all that back off. We're going to leave borders and terrain and 3D buildings up. All right, and get rid of the historical imagery. Now, by default, over here, well, first, you have your selector, Earth, Sky, Moon, Mars. If you click Sky, it's going to replace this map over here and take you to the Sky map and load the Newton Gallery. Pretty neat. Lots of really, really cool information in there. Then you hop over to the moon. You can have the Apollo landings. If you just double click these over here, it'll fly you right to it. Roll your mouse wheel to zoom in or hold your uh, right mouse button. If you hold your right mouse button, you can pull the mouse upwards to zoom out and pull it down to zoom in middle mouse button, rotate. Left click, drag, pan. All right. The R key on your keyboard will return you to center. Over to Mars. And we have the Curiosity Lander with its current position. Pretty cool. And we have the place bullseye. Now the intention of this is if you want to add something to the map here and you're like, hey, uh, resonated, I'd love to you for you to add this specific location to your map, you can place a bullseye on the map, like so. Sometimes it takes a little while, guys. You gotta be patient. And what it's going to do is find uh, control stations in the area. Just kind of disregard this. This is unless you're, you know, into all that kind of GIS stuff. But anyway, so this is your point of interest. If you're trying to point something out to me, you just zoom in real quick. Hit place bullseye. Put you a dot on the map. Hit save. And it's going to pop up a little window waiting for... and give you a file. 
and you can open that file in Google Earth and see it. Pretty awesome. Then I can take that file and zoom in here and look at what you were telling me about. Oh, there you go. That's that thing. And uh, in your email, when you email me that file, uh, just put a little bit of information about the location you're trying to point out. Alternatively, if you are a Chrome user, uh, real quick, you can also view this in Maps. Pretty cool, right? So, let's start from scratch. I'm going to do a refresh real quick. And you'll notice it kept my theme. And then, uh, this time, we're going to come over here and hit fly to and I've already typed harp in there for you just to, so we can go take a look and what it's going to do is geocode the location it says that it's at mile 11.3 talk cut off Gakona Alaska okay and it puts a dot on the map now this stuff is from Wikimapia as you can see here you can check it off you should be able to check it off <laughs> bugs 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 anyway so this is the one we just made. Now if you left click it and drag, you can relocate it. If you hold your alt key and you left click, you can edit it. And just type some junk in there. And then if you're using Google Chrome, you can hit the save and save that file. And it's pretty quick. Come over here. Bam! So, if you're really into submitting stuff, get your Google Chrome out and rock that bad boy. Alternatively, get Google Earth and go make a big list. I would love for you to send me a list. So, uh, that's pretty much everything up here. And finally, the zoom out button, which will instantly put you back out so you can do it all again. Now, over here, as you just saw, you have your fly to, which is harp. I'm going to type something else in. Let's put Times Square. Okay. Let's uncheck this Power Plants file. And let's zoom in here to Times Square. I'm going to show you guys something really neat. <laughs> yeah, I got Street View in there. I just think this is fun. And whenever you want to get out, just hit the exit. And let's bring the bars back and top, pop the 3D buildings up. Really neat. I'm going to have so much fun with this. I just got it uh, programmed today. So that's how you use that. And then load KML URL. You can type your own in. and bam it'll load it so that's how you load your own if you find something on another website you want to load it up rock that bad boy so now we come back down here to harp and it's loaded up all the little details I have to work on the bubbles. Looks like they're messing up on me again. To work the KML tree, the arrows actually do the loading. Um, the checkboxes toggle them on and off. So to load electromagnetic, you would check the box. It's going to show you all the categories. And if you want to turn them all on at once, you just hit the box here. And you'll see them all instantly load. Now, if you check the box in advance, you're going to see nothing happen. And you're like, why didn't all the nuclear stuff pop up? You didn't hit the check mark. So click the check mark, and you'll see they're still not highlighted, even though your check mark's there. 
Now that will toggle it on. So this will toggle the group. So the order is expand to load and then check them to turn them on. And then you can go look at the contents. And there is tons of stuff in here, so feel free to get all in there. Alright, so this is active fires as measured by satellite in space. So let's click on one. Just a fire detection. Now let's see if we can see any of these fires by clicking MODIS visible under satellite images and as you can clearly see we can see the fires pretty neat right and the data does match up perfectly oh there's a good one that's a big fire very neat so the idea of climate viewer is to combine data sources to uh, look at complex problems this is just one example of combining two data sources to you know see what's going on you know somebody else might have looked at this smoke and said what are they doing chemtrail in the hill <laughs> anyway they probably are chemtrail in the hill but that's beside the point you also have your current alerts It'll tell you if something bad's about to happen. Um, earthquakes, latest earthquakes, hurricane tracker. Oh, good. Looks like our weather modification's working fine. Looks like they batted it back out to sea. And finally, we have a Fukushima section. It's that big. That would be cesium spreading through the ocean from Fukushima. Anyway, take a look all the way through here. There's tons and tons and tons of stuff. Finally, down here at the bottom, you have load KML tree. This is kind of experimental. Um, it's a little buggy. I'm still working on it as well, but it will replace the current tree with your own specified file, as you can see here some of the things that uh bugs that i know of once once you do that the folder is no longer clickable they usually aren't clickable but for some reason right now they're working that's amazing all right so that clears all of that and then finally we have the external link section where these are all in a pop-up window just tons and tons of data sources i will come up with more and more as time passes um, really, ne really neat stuff in here. Here, check this one out. This is a uh, the NASA's attempt to do what I just did. <laughs> Mine looks so much better. Where you at, NASA? Where's the other one? They have another one. This one looks like it has promise, but still, mine's much cooler. Where you at, NASA? Give me a job. I need a job. All right, so that is Climate Viewer. Please share it. Uh, love it. Share it with your friends and be nosy. <laughs> be real nosy. Thanks for watching this video. One love.